Hola everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Mariana and you're watching Lucifer's Library. Today we're going to be discussing all the books that made me fall in love with reading. My reading journey started all the way back in 2012. We are nearing the 10th anniversary of me being a reader and that is so exciting because the journey was full of passion full of adventures full of discovering worlds that i absolutely adored and well also some worlds that i didn't like as much but you know what i wouldn't change a thing it all started with the hunger games by suzanne collins in 2012 my sister came up to me we were in croatia on our vacation and she said listen this is what the world is about i think you should pick this book up and i think at the time she just wanted to talk to someone about these books and so i read it i picked it up i read it this was my first english book that i read for myself at the time i had to read one for this competition this english competition we had at school and that didn't really count and i did recently start to reread in 2020 and i got three chapters in which is 40 pages but i read this book six times which you can tell by the spine i am so so nostalgic when it comes to these books there is just something so special to me about them catching fire is my favorite and these books just shaped me as a reader and started my journey of being a reader the next trilogy is one that shaped me as a writer i read divergent by veronica roth and at the time this was fantastic to me the first two books were only out there was no allegiance yet there was no movie talks or maybe there was but i don't know the fandom was so alive at the time and i started writing fan fiction for it on fanfiction.net and that's where everything just started for me writing wise i still associate bridget mendler's hello my name is album with this trilogy because at the time i was just listening to her album and <laughs> writing fan fiction and reading these books and i remember being so immersed in these stories and the factions and this separation system people were separated by their personalities i suppose like by what they stood for most of these will be in the chronological order just because i wanted to have some sense of organization and give you some kind of a timeline maybe some of the books are a little bit mixed up i didn't have goodreads back in 2012 i think i just got it in 2013 but speaking of the new year of 2012 to 2013 i picked up legend by marie lou oh my goodness i read this on december 30th 2012 and i just remember being like oh my god this book i think at the time was just freshly out i was like this is great i didn't think this would be my cup of tea because of the action but at the time i was still very fresh as a reader on the reading scene i was still figuring out what i liked and what i didn't so i just picked up anything and everything and oh my goodness this book was such a fantastic read i loved it i loved it it was fantastic and still to this day i i have so much love for legend and i even went back to reread it i think in 2014 just love it moving on is a book series that inspired my love of enemies to lovers trope this is where i discovered enemies to lovers and it all started with hush hush by becca fitzpatrick when i tell you that i was obsessed with these books not in the same way i was obsessed with divergent divergent i love the world but this <laughs> is the first time i encountered a ship that i was obsessed with and a character i was obsessed with I even gave this book to one of my best friends at the time and we just <laughs> obsessed over Patch Cipriano like there was no tomorrow. These books I don't think I will ever go back to reread because I heard mixed things about it now when people went back and reread it it probably won't stand the test of time at least for me because i did change as a reader but that aspect of witty comebacks and just kind of enemies to lovers i am still in love with it to this day and these books are just oh, 
this is why I still have them even though I won't reread them I just have them on my shelf because of the nostalgia and also like I love angel books um, I wish I would read angel books more but at the time angel books were my, were all the rage for me and hush hush is what started it all moving on with the nephilim obviously city of bones this book i read way before the movie came out actually it was in 2013 and that's also before the movie came out i was there to see the first trailer to see the second trailer drop and to see the hype i was there for the fandom i was on twitter just fangirling over these books like there was no tomorrow again absolutely obsessed i think up to that point when the movie came out i read about four books to city of fallen angels i believe or lost souls it i knew city of heavenly fire hadn't come out yet but as soon as the movie dropped i got a movie cover movie edition because i love movie editions um, I just wish that they made more movies so that I could have every single book in the movie edition But this is my my prized possession. I love the movie personally. I just think that The movie was much more true to, than the TV show I think the movie followed more the book than the TV show did and that people who just make these excuses That no the movie was so bad. It didn't follow the book just are kind of hypocrites because they don't bring out those same points when it comes to the TV show. Personally, I think the cast for most of these characters was better in the movie. Actually, I do like Alec in the TV show as well, but Simon, both Simons, Robert Chian, I love him. Uh, I loved him since Misfits and also the Simon in the TV show was great. I just think that the movie for me is so much better because it follows the books but also i think the tv show just had a lot of potential they had a more wiggle room than the movie which is why i take it so personally that it wasn't true to the books moving on is a book that i believe i read before the mortal instruments and that is the host by stephanie meyer now keep in mind i could bring up twilight in this video but i believe that the host made me fall in love with reading more i did read all four books in the twilight series prior to reading legend which means it was sometime after divergent and the host was just something that i fell in love with i fell in love with the world you can tell by the spine that i read this book quite a lot and went back and checked a few things and i let my sister borrow it and i let my mom at the time i mean she's still my mom but i let my mom borrow it at the time and my aunt but i gave her the slovenian version because then i bought the slovenian version and i am just obsessed still to this day i would love to go back and reread it because this was the first book that introduced to me a love square rather than a triangle and the friendship in this book and just the entire world is huh, I love it, I love it it's so sad that the movie didn't get more recognition especially since the cast was so incredible I mean, we just have, we just had the most incredible cast and at the time I was so obsessed with the fandom, the fandom was just incredible and on twitter we just had the best time ever please excuse mango he is a little hyperactive today okay from aliens back to angels let's talk about unearthly keep in mind this is the book that i've read sometime i think in 2014 and the reason why this book is on here is not because i particularly like the way this trilogy ended my ship didn't sail and this was the first instance where my ship did not sail but we're not gonna talk about that because the reason why this book is on this list is because of the world the world here is absolutely phenomenal phenomenon phenomenal i'm not going to be explaining this very well because i cannot possibly explain this world but we basically have angels and when angels breed with humans you have half angels i don't know what they're called but then when a half angel breeds with an angel you have three quarters of an angel and they have some special abilities and stuff and just 
half angels have these visions of their life purpose and if they don't fulfill it i don't know what happens exactly but it's just interesting and also kind of has enemies to lovers but the way this series this trilogy progresses is so interesting to me because we get so much more than i first expected okay moving on we have <laughs> i have to mention it i have to because to this day this is one of my favorite trilogies and that is clockwork angel this is the first book this is the infernal devices trilogy and this is by again cassandra claire when i tell you that i love will herondale let it be known that i had a parrot named william chase herondale this book is kind of damaged because of all the time that i've spent reading it and rereading it and loving it I just love it. The Infernal Devices, in my opinion, is much better than the Mortal Instruments. And at the time, before I started reading the Infernal Devices, when everybody told me it's better than the Mortal Instruments, I was like, that's heresy. No, I don't even know what heresy means. That is blasphemy. Again, don't know what that means. You liar. I'll go with that. Moving on, we have another Enemies to Lovers story, and that is just the luck series by jennifer l armentrout the first book i believe is obsidian and everybody loves damon black i mean who can blame them damon black is oh this series is to this day still one of my favorites and i recently let my friend borrow them and she's like these are my favorite books i have to buy them why haven't you recommended these books to me earlier and i was like i know right they're so great but I wasn't in the fandom on Twitter anymore because at the time when I was reading these books, I just started booktube the first time. Okay, okay, okay. Up next is the Iron King series by Julie Kagawa. You guys, I love this. This was my first introduction to Fae and Fairies and Neverland and magic and courts ah oh, it's such a good introduction book to the world and i just love julie kagawa's writing since reading the first book julie kagawa instantly became my auto buy author i just oh there is so much that i love such as enemies to lovers again magic badass heroine which i would say a lot of these books do have in common badass heroines this is my first also introduction to kind of like fairy tales percy jackson by rick riordan some of my favorite books perfect summer reads if you go on vacation just bring these books with you if you haven't read them yet or they're even great as a reread they're just full of adventures full of friendship full of <laughs> prophecies mythology i absolutely adore these books but the first time i read them was actually when i was sick i was in my first year of high school and i was home alone for a week because i was sick and i read all of these books five books i think there are in this series in seven days which is funny because i wasn't a fast reader back then but i just swallowed these books up i could not stop reading them still last year i did start rereading percy jackson again and i did reread that book so i am on book two whenever i do pick it up let's talk about one of my favorites which is throne of glass by sarah j maas this is the book that got me into sarah j maas's books i did start throne of glass quite early in my reading career and i was <sighs> Again, obsessed, absolutely in love with the world, with the main character. This is probably the first time I was obsessing, really obsessing over a main character. Just her strength, her endurance. I don't know how else to explain how much I love Selena Sardothian. My obsession, I believe, was solidified truly when I read Air of Fire. And it's still my favorite book in the series. I have not read Empire of Storms tower of dawn and kingdom of ash but air of fire at the time was like oh my god my favorite this book series proved to me that there are still books out there that i have yet to discover and love i honestly thought that i read these books earlier than i did but i did read them or pick them up after the movie came out so am i really that surprised then again <laughs> we're talking about vampire academy by rochelle mead i don't know what it is about these books i love the character i love the world but one thing that i do not care 
in Vampire Academy about that much is the forbidden love, the mentor-student kind of love between Dimitri and Rose. That is just one thing that always kind of was off for me when it came to these books, but the world, the threats, the everything, the progression of the story, friendship is what made me continue reading and of course Adrian, dreamy, love him. And yeah, I'm glad that I picked these books up. I would definitely want to reread them sometime in the future. And we've come to the last book that I'm going to talk about in this video. This is just a video full of my favorites up until a certain point. The end of 2014 is where I draw the line at me not being a newbie anymore. So 2012, 2013, 2014 are the years where I was just fairly new to reading. This book I did pick up not knowing what it was about. I was aware that it was a fairy tale retelling, although I didn't know about retellings at the time. I just knew that it was kind of like a fairy tale based on the cover. That is Cinder by Marissa Meyer, The Lunar Chronicles. I still have yet to read Winter, but Cinder and The Lunar Chronicles themselves, like each book, I love them. I love, 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 love these books. Again, these are just some of my all-time favorites. Books that just make me nostalgic and want me to return to 2013, 2014 and read them for the first time. But what I love most about these books is how they come together in the end, how the characters come together and it's all just worth it. Still, I have to read Winter, but... I'm actually reading Winter this month, so maybe keep an eye out for that. And that's it, these are all the books that shaped me as a reader growing up in a world full of people who didn't like to read, uh, in a world full of books that were only in Slovenian language available to me at the time. And these are all the books that made me practice my English, that made me fall in love with the language as a whole. and fun little storytelling anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you did give it a thumbs up without further ado subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep yourself notified when i post more videos and i'll see you next time bye